We you, were at NAB. Yes. Uh, you you not, were. Uh, I was at NAB, NAB and a few other team members. You kind of stayed home and uh, secured the castle in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, NAB was really fantastic. We already published an article and shared some of the stories, uh, but there are more stories, like uh, that you lost all the money in the casinos of the beta uh, um, crowdfunding. Uh, we were almost winning uh, twice the amount of. Um, yeah, but you doubled <laughs> it, and then you lost everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> so new crowdfunding soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't even go to the casino. We didn't even drop a single coin in one of these uh, machines that steal all your <laughs> funding. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So um, what did you do? Uh, we met lots of ex fans. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. Nobody cared about the camera, but uh, the music was really uh, getting yeah. very successful, I think. Right. I'm sure the band that made our music would be very <laughs> happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we did it all ourselves. Oh, yeah, you saw right. it in the video. Right. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it was great to meet so many uh, crowdfunding supporters. We met uh, Roberto, for example, mm -hmm. also had an uh, image in, in the article. We met other camera manufacturers, that was great. And they in return showed us their cameras in their booths and explained us all the details of the electronics, something we would also never have access to in normal day-to-day -day life. Did they show it in the booth or did they take you to the back part of the booth and show the you secret, secret plans? The secret plans. So it, apparently there aren't that many secrets in mm, how they right. do it. Or at least... Just we do it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very secret everything. And we did, for example, an on-the-couch interview mm -hmm. uh, at the B&H booth, but I, I'm not sure if it's published yet. Or if they publish it at all, because we were on the couch together with Black Magic, mm -hmm. and in the Kine Affinity, mm -hmm. the Chinese camera manufacturers, and normally in these kind of interviews, everyone just uh, explains the new products he has and talks in glorious words about the amazing technology they awesome. have created, the awesome <laughs> creative uh, technology. And um, that's not how I wanted to do it. So I asked the other guys, the Black Magic guy, because they uh, have a new camera now where they uh, kind of embrace the hack ability. And I was trying hard not to fall from the from the couch I was sitting on because I had to laugh so much. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I wanted to know what exactly they mean with hacking and uh, how they mean. And they claim that they're. Yeah, that the, camera the camera is very hacker friendly. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And so I, I asked them a couple of questions that um, maybe they, they paid someone that the video disappears in the ditch or something. No, right. I don't know, it's still not published. And the guy had to leave immediately after the interview. Sorry, guys, I have to run or I can't talk anymore. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> very dubious. <laughs> very strange. But very interesting experience, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of public exposure. We had people from different magazines around. They shot video interviews, uh, recorded audio interviews, made notes for written articles. Mm -hmm. Really great. Thanks again to our EU partner Dance for sharing the booth. With exactly, that was wonderful. And we will also be together with them at IBC in the booth. Oh, great. It will be <laughs> the next big event in, I think it's September. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, uh, some team talks ago we uh, explained that we ordered a 3D printer, mm -hmm, an mm -hmm. SLA based printer. Unfortunately, uh, when it shipped, they dropped it off from the truck or <laughs> threw it into the ditch. I don't know. It was completely it was wrecked when it arrived. It was shipped by a catapult. <laughs> <laughs> Extra quick delivery. <laughs> Extra strong <Express>. impact. <laughs> <laughs> but the 3D printer didn't quite survive the yeah, some pieces were seemingly broken. wild journey. But thanks to the Atom 3D team support, uh, the main developer flew over right away and fixed our printer 
on site, calibrated everything, and it's running perfectly smooth. And we've already printed a few parts for mm -hmm. the prototype, and we shot some footage about uh, yep. printing and mm -hmm. while it was being fixed. And we will see it right now uh, as we speak the whole time. So that's why I'm explaining what <laughs> we are seeing now. <laughs> So everything was recalibrated because all the pieces were misaligned by the damage. Uh, and yeah, do we have some samples? Samples? I'm afraid not. Mm. Not yet. Bad planning. N not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's continue with the behind the scenes of our April Fools. Prank. Yeah, it's uh, quite some time ago. For those who didn't see it, we pretended. Uh, we stopped making cameras. Somebody commented uh, that that's a very ballsy uh, move, a, a thing to pretend when you didn't even ship your first product <laughs> yet. Uh, yeah, what, what should we say? <laughs> we were seduced. Next year we'll do something even crazier, because then we will already have shipped our first products. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> the probability that we will have uh, products shipped by April 2016 is pretty high. I yeah. think. Yeah. I go that far out of uh, uh, leaning out of the window, as we say <laughs> in Austria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. let's look at some of the behind-the-scenes footage that we shot when we were filming the Axiom video. Fortunately. We had an actual uh, death metal singer consultant. and con player, and he consulted us, and so it was very <coughs> authentic. He got up at five in the morning and then drove around uh, collecting the correct amps that death metal bands would use, because we just uh, kind of got a, a, pra a band practice room from friends of mine, and they don't do death metal, and so having the preamps that they have standing around there would have given away the the illusion right away. Yeah, that's unfortunately <coughs> we didn't use the amps because nobody of you could play <laughs> the instrument <laughs> except Philippe who could play the drums. Yeah. But you couldn't even play the mop. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, our consultant even recorded the movements of the guitar where yeah. we have to place our fingers at which part. Uh, in the song, and then he trained us where and how we should move our hair and how, how to, to sing, sing. how to head bang. Exactly. And, uh, and he, thing was hmm? he was very unhappy about all <laughs> of it in the end. <laughs> because we didn't practice enough up front, and uh, he even warned us about we have to ex uh, practice a lot of head banging because otherwise, you will get a really painful neck if you just do it without properly practicing. And yeah, the next couple of days after shooting it, uh, we knew what he meant <laughs> because we were all walking around like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but all worth the trouble, I think. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> what will we come up next year? I don't know. It will be even crazier. We already have some ideas. Don't, don't spoil anybody. I, I'm just a, a, a small hint. No, no. no You'll have to wait. Don't say it. No. <laughs> <laughs> the promise of um, shipping our products next year <laughs> was enough of <laughs> false premises. <laughs> That's it from this time. Next time we will definitely wear different t-shirts. Maybe swap. <laughs> <laughs> what what t-shirt size do we have? Awesome size. <laughs> <laughs> Might not fit for you. I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll stick to the less awesome t-shirts. <laughs> okay. That's it from us tonight. And until next time.